Let's learn together nail tip application and acrylic clear base. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back, let it swing right back. back, back. Okay, so starting off with your client's hands, make sure they are clean and sanitized. You can get your client to wash their hands in a sink with a nail brush, making sure that all the dirt is cleaned from under their nails and around their cuticles, as well as applying some of the Save Scrub from Nailmate. And this is going to prevent any bacteria and just make sure that the, um, the nails are clean, prepped and ready. So once I've cleaned and cleansed my client's hands, I like to come in with Nailmate's Super Scraper. And as you can see, it's a double-ended tool. We have them available in the Outer Space Rainbow Coating, as well as the Purple Plasma, which is a kind of duo chrome purple colour with a bit of blue and other variations of purple in there. They are both absolutely stunning. Nailmate Super Scraper is used for pushing back cuticles and removing excess cuticle grown onto the nail. So as you can see, it does a very thorough job. The hoofed shape kind of bent end where the cuticle pusher is the round side, that is perfect for really gently pushing back cuticles and creating a nice, even, aesthetically pleasing shape. Um, because sometimes clients or yourself, I know myself, I have kind of... Um, the odd cuticle that is a little bit wonky and not quite perfect so the hoof shape and the nice even round shape on the pusher end does allow to be um, push back the cuticles but also create a nice even shape and really tidy up and then the scraper end is amazing at removing that dead cuticle off the nail plate as you saw there so much excess is removed and that just is going to make sure that the prep is really really thorough so this is a new product that we have. We have had it a few weeks. As you know, these nails I did a few weeks back for my mum. Um, so I'm just getting around to showing you guys. This is our six piece file and buff set. So within this set, we do have six pieces and on the box and the description and all the uses for the files are there. So you guys aren't going to get confused. Of course, you can use them for whatever you want to use them for. For now, I'm going to be using the 180 grit nail file. So this is a double sided file and both sides are 180 grit, which is perfect for prepping the natural nail. So I'm just coming in very gently and removing that shine from my mum's nails, making sure to be careful around the cuticle and the skin area where the nail folds and the side walls are because we don't want to end up cutting our client. So as you can see my mum has a little bit of nail damage here. This is just because she does like to do her own nails sometimes and I think she said she trapped it somewhere or like ripped one off. I was like, oh my god calm the hell down you need to be soaking these off not ripping them off um, but anyway i do think it was an accident so i was very very gentle in that area just making sure that my mum was comfortable and that i could still do a thorough job but not cause any discomfort to her So this video is going to be a two-part video. In this section, I'm going to be showing you the tip application, nail prep and clear base. Then I'm going to do a second part to the video where I will do the design. So don't forget to check that out as well once I upload it. So as you saw, I just dusted off the excess dust using Nailmate scrub brush. And then I come in with the Pro Bond primer. I do also um, cleanse the nails again after I remove the dust using the safe scrub. So once I've applied my Pro Bond, these are the tips that I'm using. The easy tips are amazing. I am in utter love with them. You will see how easy and gorgeous they are. Um, I'm using the instant nail glue to apply them. So you just need a small amount of glue at where the well area would be. But as you can see, these tips do not have a well, which isn't a bad thing. It just means that they are going to apply um, really thin. They won't need any... Um, thinning out in that area and I find if I'm honest I do prefer nail tips without a well just because I like to glue my tips as close to the free edge as possible anyway so if you've got a large well area it's just kind of unnecessary so look how gorgeous they are all one length when we finish moving you best believe that I will be having a full length set of the easy tips 
I have been dying to get a full set on and I just cannot wait. But anyway, I'm coming in with the Outer Space Tip Cutters, also available from Glitter Planet. And as you can see, I'm just trimming down the length. Now, my mum did have them longer than usual because these were for her work's Christmas party. But look how stunning that coffin shape is. I mean, I have not filed any shape-wise. I think I may have taken in the sidewalls. Not the sidewalls as such, just where the... Um, free edge and the nail tip met i just made sure that that was flush but and everything else is the tip like these tips are utterly stunning and if you do a lot of coffin nails tapered square nails or stiletto honestly it is going to really benefit your service and just bring down that service time so that you can either do more clients or spend more time on designing so I have come in, I've removed the dust and now I'm just going to go ahead and apply my clear base. So for my clear base I'm using Nailmates Crystal Clear Acrylic which is like absolute butter. As you can see this is all done in real time and the application is so effortless and smooth. Now I kept all of these in real time so you guys can really see the product flow and work and just see how that acrylic just holds its shape until i want it to go somewhere it doesn't run out into the side walls it's not flooding the cuticle area it's not coming down and dripping off the edge of the tip i have seen some products where they are applied to the nail and it is like just dripping off the nail. do you know what i mean it's just not acceptable i would find it so difficult to work with i guess that could be an issue with bead and product ratio as such um, but look how gorgeous Nailmates Crystal Clear is to work with. I'm applying that bead. It is holding its place until I push it into where I want it to go. And then working it side to side to ensure that I've got an even and full coverage of the entire natural nail. And then I'm stroking down towards the free edge just to ensure that I've also covered the tip because I knew that my mum wanted to come back and get a redesign in a few weeks. So yeah, I am just shook with this. I think... It's just a simple video, but I wanted to kind of try and give you guys some information. I've probably done videos like this before, but if you haven't seen them, I guess this is just kind of a refresher and just giving you any tips and tricks. Um, but yeah, it's kind of straightforward. I guess the main thing you could focus on is your ratio, bead application and things like that. So I'm not going to show that in this video because I do plan on hosting some online classes at some point where I will be teaching um, more in-depth videos of kind of product you know ratios product control more in-depth and design videos hopefully that is something that you guys will enjoy because i know that i'm going to love creating them so this is the final result i really hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye i'm always doing the most finish my cup and reload let it swing right back let it swing right back